couch, dogs, me, guitar lessons. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create your own country blue stuff using drop D. Now, tune the sixth string down to D, so you have a drop D tuning, okay? Low D bass note. And put a D chord on, okay? Now, take the second finger, the middle finger, and leave these two on strings two and three, okay? On, on uh, frets three and two. Okay, D5, and you're gonna play zero and three on strings four, five, and six. Okay, play it with the chord. Okay, or in between the chord uh, iterations. Now, you're just exploring right now. Okay, just try different combinations. When you're comfortable with this, try to create embellishments. Okay, hammer-ons, pull-offs. Okay, try to lead the licks into one another. Okay, you can take two on the third string and use that as, uh, as a basis for a lick as well. You can use two zero and then continue with threes. All right? We're not adding any rhythm yet, we're just exploring. And you can add two okay, on the three bass strings. Right? But don't overdo it. We want to keep the, the blues sound, just zero and three. Add two whenever you feel that you need to vary a little to refresh the ear. Okay, you can do two hammer on to three or a pull off from three to two. Okay. And of course, okay, you can create long legs. If you want to add rhythm, you can uh, basically just create a rhythm on the bass strings using these uh, these notes and just add the chord whenever you feel like it. Now, it's gonna get boring at some point and then you wanna change to G. Now, for G, you can just put five on the sixth string and play the open second, third, and fourth strings or play three, five, seven on E if you like, right? Right? But we're focus, uh, focusing on D right now. So if you wanna play G, just uh, five on the sixth string and then try to find more licks. But we're focusing on the deep, uh, the deep bluesy sound. So um, let's try to add some rhythm. You can take um, a more um, standard approach and try Travis picking. Right? And um, that actually complicates everything because you need to keep the rhythm going. But you can take a blues rhythm. Just keep it interesting and keep it dark. And if you want, you can take D7, one and two on strings, two and three. And then it changes the, the color a little. Okay, now I used three on the 
third string because it fit. It fit the bluesy sort of sound. And you can you can take this and play around with it as, uh, as much as you like. And then you can add turnarounds if you like. Okay, seven and seven on strings, four and two. Then sixes, then five, then back to D. Okay. have to do the whole turnaround. You can also do this interesting thing. Okay? It's a little bit more sophisticated, but it's basically just chromatics. It's uh, 5 and 7, which is in the D chord. So 5 and 7, down 2 frets. And then it's 2 and 3, which is in the D chord, and down 3 frets. So that's kind of a rhythm and blues sort of thing. But if you're bored with this, then go to these extra licks. And when you do it, make sure that you're playing the sixth string. And then you go back to the D. Focal points. So just explore whatever you like with it. You can add extra notes to it. You can add, uh, as I said, you can do G, of course. Okay, you can add the full chord uh, three, four, five on strings two, three, and four with five on the bass. Okay, and you can also solo over it. Okay, just play around with it with uh, three and five on strings two, three. Okay, they are in form. And add the G, the major note. Okay, on uh, four, on four, on the third string. And then go back to D. Okay, and if you want the fifth, then you have A and. And then you go back to G. Okay, but I don't want to get overly complicated here. The idea was to find that drop D sound, and I want you to try that. So I just noodle around on the same D chord for, for an hour or two just to find whatever I can find. Explore different routes around that that basic idea. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you the next lesson. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and keep updated. I'll upload the next one very very soon. Bye for now. Thank you. Enjoy.